this is the message from Jesus. The Christian does not consider death to be his end, but the end of his trouble, the end of tribulation. Whether you die young or old, no matter the nature of death, death is sure to come. What matter is the grace to continue living year after? The what? What matter is the grace to continue living year after? We need to be sure that we are ready to depart. Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of your darling Nebo TV. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel and those who follow us on our Facebook page. Here in Nebo TV, we give you the best, we serve you right in our best capacity. Yeah, TB Joshua, the general overseer of synagogues, church of all nations, died yesterday and uh, the news is disheartening as various people various personalities across the world are mourning the great man of god the late tb joshua popularly called tb joshua was born on june 12 1963 in the small village of arigidi akoko in ondo state nigeria according to him unusual circumstances surrounded its bat and he remained for 15 months in his mother's womb before being born, a much longer time than the normal pregnancy period of nine months. Reports have it that another remarkable event occurred when he was three years old as a large border crashed through the roof of his house and uh, he escaped the border, missing him by few inches. Therefore, his mother named him meaning what God has done for me is worthy of thanks. From 1971 to 1977, he attended St. Stephen's Anglican Primary School in Arigidi, Akoko, Nigeria, but failed to complete his secondary school education because of poverty. In school, he was known as small pastor because of his love for the Bible. He further gained reputation for spiritual prowess after confronting a madman in the school premises and collecting his weapon from him. He was the leader of the scripture union while in school. Thereafter, he worked for some time washing people's feet on the muddy street of Lagos before moving to a poultry farm where he had the demeaning job of carrying out different poultry works which included carrying chicken weights at the same time he organized bible studies with children and attended evening school he also tried to be enlisted into the military nigeria army an ambition which was aborted by an art of fight as a train he bothered to attend the interview in the Nigeria Defense Academy, Kaduna developed forts and it was left stranded for six days. In 1987, he visited a prayer mountain to seek the face of God. There, he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. He wrote that in a heavenly vision, he received divine anointing and a covenant from God to start his ministry. 
Thereafter, he laid the foundation of his ministry organization, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Kwan. The society released numerous videos claiming to the document the healing of incurable diseases and disabilities such as HIV AIDS. The videos generated lots of controversies and amassed hundreds of thousands of views. Many people have also claimed to have been aid through anointing water that has been prayed over by him and given to those who are unable to physically attend his church in Lagos. His organization has also been in controversy regarding the deliverance of those allegedly possessed by evil spirits during its services as the great man of God delivered many people from demonic attacks, demonic spirits, and all sort of dark spiritual powers. This actually surprised a lot of people and for them it was hard to believe that anyone could be so delivered easily by the great man of God. T.B. Joshua was a great man of God who had predicted a lot of events which eventually came to pass, such as the death of Marquette Jackson, the attack during Boston Marathon in America, and the outcome of two African Cup of Nations final matches. He was also said to have predicted the crash of Malaysian Airlines MH317 several months before the incident. He has also written and published books such as The Mirror, The Step Between You and The Cure, Daily Time with God, and What the Future Holds. Prophet D.P. Joshua is a philanthropist who has given a lot to the lineage rendered help to the downtrodden and giving solace to those in need. Before his death, he donated over 26 million naira towards the restoring electricity and putting an end to two years of power outage in four council of Akoko area of Ondo state where the great man of God hails from. T.B. Joshua funded the building and running of a school in Naho, Pakistan, named Emmanuel School. He also rebuilt a school in a rural area destroyed by 2016 Equator earthquake, traveling to Equator for the opening of the school in June 2017. In recognition of his humanitarian services, and activities. The great man of God, T.B. Joshua, was awarded a national honor by the Nigeria government in 2008. He also received a letter of appreciation from the United Nations UN. T.B. Joshua is the leader and founder of the ministry organization, the Synagogue Church of All Nations which runs a Christian television station called Emmanuel TV, which is available on satellite and on the internet via the streaming Faith Broadcast Porter. His shows are also aired weekly on a number of local television stations across Africa. In addition to the awards and honor received by the great man of God, the Arewa Youth Forum also honored him as an ambassador of peace, a predominantly Muslim organization in appreciation of his humanitarian endeavors. He was recognized as one of Africans' 50 most influential people by Pan African Magazine, the African Report, and the New African Magazine. Great T.B. Joshua died on the June 5, 2021, in his home in Lagos at the age 
of 57. Let TB Joshua was survived by his wife Evelyn Joshua and three children. The oldest, Sarah, is a graduate from London School of Economics, Faculty of Law. To everyone, Apostle TV Joshua means different things to different people. To some, he is a great man of God. To some, he is a great philanthropist. To some, he is a great helper. To some, he is a great source of succor to the people. This is the reason it was hard to believe for people that the great man of God has gone to the great beyond. It was reported that many people gathered in the premises of the synagogue church of all nations situated in Lagos and were baffled and acting if the death of the great man of God was true or not. There were also reports that some people traveled from far away to the church to confirm if the great man of God has died or not. A case of such was the man who traveled from Bini to Lagos on Sunday morning to confirm the death of the great man of God. The now, the death of the great man of God still remains a mystery to many people as it was reported that he ministered before some hours before his death and spoke very well on the death of Christian, how the Christians would die and how the Christians should try and impart lives before leaving the earth. This is the message Apostle CTV Joshua the was reported to have said a lot of things in the sermons he gave before the end dying. Of trouble, the end of this remains a great loss you die young to old, Christendom. This remains no a great loss to Christians and most especially members of congregation of synagogue of what all nations across the, the world. To continue Apostle C.B. Joshua after. lives in the heart of people even what, after what his death is the grace to continue living here after we need to be sure that we are ready to depart mm -hmm.